Okay, welcome back, everybody. Uh, now for a movie I keep gabbing about, and I've gabbed about it in Ant during Ant, the movie review of Annie, uh, Practical Magic. Uh, let's think. Uh, the two Dream a Little Dream movies reviews, uh, and then let's see what else. A few good men. <laughs> uh, and it's this movie right here, The Lost Boys. Of course, the two Corys is in it, Corey Feldman and Corey Haim. Edward Herman's in this. Uh, Jamie Gertz is in this. Jason Patrick's in this. Kiefer Sutherland's in here. Uh, Diane Weist is in this. Bernard Hughes is in this, in case I've mentioned him twice. But um, one of my... And, and this is one of those things that... Um, I want to, uh, you know, review about this movie. This is a cult classic. Um, one of, uh, it's, uh, I forget the boy's name. It's, uh, well, it's a better picture of him. It's this little fella right here. Um, he's in, I forget his name, um, but he's also in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure with Keanu Reeves. Uh, he, he always complains that they always say, let's take the little one instead of, you know, remembering him for Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Well, the reason is, and I wish he, well, I don't think he, you know, I think he knows this, hopefully, that this movie, The Lost Boys, is, you know, a lot more remembered for this, than, you know, just because it's a good vampire movie than Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures. Um, but anyway, I like this movie just because, you know, this was the first rated R movie my mom ever let me watch. Um, and uh, I also just remember thinking, you know, this is just, you know, I thought Kiefer Sutherland is good looking. Uh, and, I mean, he is really really a good actor. Um, what, Tony and I do happen to own a movie that his dad's in, Donald. Um, I may or may not do a review of it. Um, it's got Nicole Kidman and Renee Zellweger and it's Cold Mountain, of course. Um, and, you know, we like that movie. Um, but uh, I do highly recommend this movie. Um, I own the soundtrack of this, um, and I, I love the soundtrack off this movie. I mean, it's a good soundtrack. It's a good movie. Um, you know, and uh, unlike when, when I was talking about Dream a Little Dream, I'm not going to write Corey Feldman through the coals on this one just because he's not the important person in this movie in my book. It's, you know, like Jason Patrick and Edward Herman and you know, Jamie Gertz and everything. Um, this is actually, with the rest of the cast aside, you know, uh, it's a good sound movie. And um, I like Diane Weist as the mom in here. Um, she play, does a really good job as playing, you know, like a mom and everything. Um, and unlike, you know, in Practical Magic, she's actually skinny in this movie. Not that I'm, you know, bashing, you know, her being chump, chunky now, chubby, chunky, uh, she's, a, it's like, you can tell a huge difference between this movie and, you know, her part in Practical Magic, but anyway, uh, that aside, if you want to watch a good, you know, like, teenage movie with your teenagers, this is a good one to, you know, definitely watch with them. This was released in 1987 of course, and, you know, it's just, most people just like this movie because it shows, you know, a completely different time of life and, you know, teenagers, and, I mean, it is a, definitely a teenage person flick. So, hang on, I've got, actually, I've decided instead of doing 10, as a side note, I'm going to actually, 10 total this time around, I'm going to actually do more, a few more. So, hang on just a moment, and I'll be right back with the next movie review, okay?